The Mari 4 series saw the introduction of Mari's monumental material system, plus dozens of other features designed to accelerate the creativity amongst look development artists and take the pain out of 3D painting and texturing. From Mari 4.5 to now, Mari's ongoing product development is tailored towards a singular aim, keeping artists creative. Mari 4.5 introduced a transformative material system, allowing artists to create high volume assets faster and more cost effectively by rapidly blocking out the look of an asset using material presets without having to start from scratch. Artists can then harness the detail painting power of Mari to weather and finish the final art direction, giving them the best of both approaches in one application. The material system is supported by Mari's Material Ingest tool, empowering artists to quickly import and convert any set of physically based rendering texture map sets into a Mari material preset. The Material Ingest tool creates the presets, sets up the controls, and loads everything into the Mari shelf ready to use. To elevate this workflow, Mari 4.6 introduced a new geochannel system, allowing artists to have the same material adapt to the shape or form of a variety of models to achieve photorealistic mesh-driven effects, such as edge, wear and tear. Geochannels non-destructively ingest a baked texture map, so artists can use them to drive procedurally generated materials. Mari's material system saw further improvement in its 4.7 release thanks to a host of new features. Custom procedurals and procedural masks were extended to allow artists to author, share, and use customized procedural presets as layers for color and scalar channels. Artists can block out the look of an asset's channel procedurally and even leverage geochannels to procedurally adapt masks to the form of an asset. A new material isolation mode was also introduced in Mari 4.7 to allow artists to tweak one material within the full lighting context without having to hide other layers in a project. Paired with the new material bake points, enabling artists to batch edit and bake multiple properties of a material stream at once, Mari 4.7 lifted the ceiling on how many materials an artist can harness. Mari's node graph is pivotal to providing users with a more efficient, non-destructive workflow. That's why it was important for us to develop a more user-friendly area to work in, reducing the amount of clicks needed to do certain actions. Mari 4.6 saw the introduction of collapsible nodes and a cleaner auto-placement tailored towards achieving this aim, along with new keyboard modified gestures for selection, navigation, and moving nodes. Smarter chain node creation when working with multi-channel material nodes also featured in the 4.7 release. Together, these improvements work to increase efficiency and throughput, giving artists more time to focus on being creative. The power and popularity of Mari's node graph rests in its non-destructive workflow. In Mari 4.6, the introduction of more procedural nodes opened up added creative options for artists to develop textures that required less manual painting so they can quickly create iterative, fully adjustable content. With projection nodes, we introduced new ways to make projected details and textures reusable. An artist no longer has to manually paint over their projection. They can simply switch out the image in the projection node and have its positioning retained throughout the change. When these workflows are combined with Mari's materials, artists are able to quickly start projecting fully PBR decals for more advanced material development. In Mari 4.7, we overhauled the shelf palette UI and UX to empower artists to easily access and share all of their tools and presets, bringing material libraries right to their fingertips. The refreshed UI adds a navigation pane and removes the cumbersome nature of Mari's previous shelf palette. Shelf items now also have adjustable thumbnail sizes and all new informative graphical tooltips. Since adding the Arnold Standard Surface in Mari 4.5, we've continued to update and replace our legacy shaders with officially approved vendor shaders. Mari empowers artists to paint in context of the final render with shaders provided directly by the teams behind each individual render engine. Artists create with greater clarity and confidence, 
safe in the knowledge that they're working in close approximation of the final render. Mari 4.6 introduced the export on bake feature, allowing artists to write Mari bake point texture data to disk while working on a project without having to break their creative flow to export them. In Mari 4.7, Artists can add command line post processes directly to their bake point exports, like converting exported image files to render engine native texture formats in a single action. Artists can stream baked Mari paint directly into texture shading nodes inside of Katana in just one click, reducing the look development feedback loop between texturing and shading. Stay tuned for more unmissable Mari developments and features as part of the upcoming Mari 5, including a look development solution designed to break down creative barriers, build bridges across departments, and reduce technical friction. <laughs>